Scarlet, my dear little sister, is sold at Corporal. My sister has bought me no files or sores. Can I really kiss you now? On my forehead? Like a good brother? No thanks. Um, I'll wait and hope for better things. All right. I was so distressed when I heard you were in jail. I simply couldn't sleep of thinking. It's not true. They're not going to hang you. Would you be sorry? All right. Well, don't worry yet. The Yankees have prompted me. Some charges against me, but what they are really after is my money. They seem to think I'm made of with the Confederate Treasury. Well, well, did you? What a leading question. But that's not, uh, let's not talk about sordid things like money. How good of you to come and see me, and how pretty you look. All right. You, how, how do you run on, teasing a country girl like me? Thanks heaven, you're not in rags. I'm tired of seeing women in rags. Turn around, you look good enough to eat. Prosperous too. Thank you. I have been doing very miserably, very well. Everybody is doing well at Tara. Only I got so bored, I just thought I would treat myself with a visit to town. You're a heartless creature, but that's part of your charm. You know you have got more charm than, than the law allows. Now I didn't come here to talk silliness about me, Red. I came because I was so miserable at the thought that you were in trouble. Oh, I know, I was mad at you last night when you left me at Tara, and I, I haven't still forgiven you. Oh, Scarlet, don't say that. Well, I must admit, I'm, I might not be alive now, only for you. But when I think of myself with everything I could possibly hope for, not a care in the world, and here you are in the horror jail, and not even a human jail, red, a horse jail. Listen to me, trying to make jokes when I really want to cry, a minute I shall cry. Scarlet, can it be possible? Can what be possible, Red? That you have caught in a woman's heart, a real woman's heart. I have, Red. I know I have. Well, it's worth being in jail just to hear you say that. Uh, it's well worth it. You can drop the moonlight and magnolia, Scarlet. Uh, so things have been going well at Tara, have they? Y yes. Uh, what have you been doing with your hands? Oh, just because I went riding last week without my gloves? These stones belong to a lady. You have been working with them like a field hand. What did you lie to me and what are you really up to? Now, Red? Another question, and I would almost have believed that you cared for me. But I do care. Suppose we get down to the truth. You want something from me and you want it badly enough to put on quite a show on your velvets. What is it, money? I want $300 to pay taxes on Tara. Oh, Red, I did lie you when I said everything was all right. Things are just as bad as they possibly could be. And you have got millions, Red. What collateral are you offering? My earbuds? Not interested. A mortgage on Tara? What would I do with a farm? You won't lose. I would pay you back out next year's cotton. Not good enough. Have you nothing better? You once said you love me, if you still love me, Red. You haven't forgotten I'm not a married, married man. No, I haven't forgotten. You're not worth $300, Scarlet. You'll never mean anything but misery to you, any man. Go on, insult me. I don't care what you say. Only give me my money. I won't let Tara go. I can't let her go while there's a breath left in my body. Oh, Red, you won't. Please, give me the money. I couldn't give you the money if I wanted to. My funds are in Liverpool, not Atlanta. If I tried drawing a draft, but the Yankees would be on me like a duck on a June bug. So you see, my dear, you are abased yourself to no purpose. Here, here, stop it. Do you want the Yankees to see you like this? Take off your hands me, of me. You shrunk. You knew what I was going to say before I started. You knew I, you wouldn't lend me money, and yet, and yet you let me go on? I enjoyed hearing what you had to say. Cheer up. You can come to my hanging and I'll remember you in my jail.